day for me uh, begins with Mass in my parish church, uh, breakfast here at home, and then uh, I spend the morning here. I mean, this is my bunker, this is my study, this is where most of my working materials are in my library, uh, my files, etc. Uh, I work from outlines. I, I think when you're doing complicated uh, things like the biography of John Paul II, uh, or trying to make a serious argument on a public policy matter. Uh, it's good to think through the sequence of things before you actually start writing. And then the writing becomes the telling of the story. Well, when I'm working on a book, uh, especially one that uh, is to mark an anniversary, uh, like my Marvin Gaye book uh, or my book on Tupac, I tend to work in concentrated bursts of energy. So I might uh, put in 17-hour days uh, depending upon the wrath of the editor <laughs> and how uh, much I've missed my deadlines to that point. So I'll um, get up in the morning and uh, sit at that computer and I'll go at it for like four hours, take a break, kick back, stretch a little bit, and then uh, sit right back down and go at it again. So I can work anywhere from a good uh, 10 to 17 hours a day when I'm in that rhythm. Uh, that's after I've done my research. You're, you're always uh, integrating your research into your writing as well. But when I've done the bulk of the research and I'm really free to write and to flow, uh, I'm able to sit in concentrated periods of time, which is why I have back problems. I don't think anybody can really write more than three and a half hours, uh, four max. Then you need a break. Um, so my, my best writing times are like nine to one in the morning and maybe uh, 4 to 7.30 or 8 in the evening. There are other parts of my life that I have to attend to in the middle of the day. I'm a great believer in naps. I think naps are a great invention, uh, perhaps Italy's greatest contribution to human civilization beyond the 97 Barolos. I'll make an exception for that. Um, so I, uh, I, I write it two periods of, of the day. And eight hours is it. I mean, no, no one can really do more than that and expect to be putting out something that's coherent. And in that period of time, I can usually get 20 to 25 double-spaced pages done and in something approaching readable form. <clears throat> you know, I, I read all these stories, these horror stories. You know, there are a lot, there's, a, there's a lot could be said about my work and the kind of research habits I have, but one thing you won't hear me go is the following. I must apologize because my research assistant wrote those 20 pages and I have no idea why they didn't attribute them to the author. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yo, I'm missing it, man. You mean research, researchers do that? They actually write for you? They actually draft, you know, chapters of your book? Man, I could write like 15 books a year. I, I could really get it done. 